Okay, thanks for joining me. This is a video just to show people how we can uh, change the paddings on helmets. We get some people asking us from time to time, is there much to it? And really and truly there's not. Um, we've got two parts of the padding. We've got the crown piece, which you'll see here. And then you've got the forehead piece, which is this part here. And what I'm going to do is change the padding on this senior helmet, which is the same also for the junior helmet. It's the same, same. it goes in the same way, it's taken out the same way. So I'm going to take the padding out of the new senior helmet and I'm going to put it back in again so it's the same. It's the, it works the exact same way. So I start off by removing the, the forehead piece first. Um, so you're taking it off. Uh, nice and easy from the velcro sticks on each side as you can see there now if some of the velcro sticks pull away from the helmet it's very easy just to attach them back on so they just peel the helmet back off like that and then you're just pulling them out of the slots that are at the front of the helmet there as you can see comes out nice and easy and that's what you're left with so that's the template off the forehead piece of the senior helmet. We've put that down there for a minute, out of the way. And inside then you've got your, your uh, four, well not four, but there's a few Velcro. And these are what hold on the paddings on the inside. Okay. So next we'll remove the, the crown piece. And the crown piece the exact same way, you're just peeling off the paddings again from the Velcros. nice and easy so this would be you removing the older padding um, and again as you can see some of the velcros come with the come off the, with the padding it's very easy just to attach them back on again because the adhesive on them is very good and it does reattach but if you have purchased new padding from us um, it will come with extra velcros so you can put them back in yourself and as you can see the helmet is dotted with the the black velcros on the inside which um, is what keep the padding in place okay so it's the same thing again when we're putting the the padding back in so I always start with the crown piece first it's just, it's just because it's deeper inside in the helmet um, and it's uh, it makes it easier then to put the, 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 the forehead piece on last so we'll start with the we'll start with the the crown piece first and that's what you have you have this this template of padding which you should get when you when you order that would be the template of the senior Padding and then the template of the junior padding, whether it's regular padding or the Coolmax, um, the shape is very similar to this, and the way of putting it in is the exact same way. So we'd start by putting it through the slots at the back of the helmet. So as you can see here, there's two slots. These two pieces go through the slots. The inside of the padding is facing upwards. Okay, it's not facing that. That's not facing. You put it in because if you do, you're doubling the head pat the padding back into the helmet and it means that the padding has been put in inside out okay so what we want to do is we want to put the padding in so it's sitting that way all right so we're starting with these two v's and we're putting them through the slots at the back very simply right not giving it any big tug then we're doubling the foam back in over the two wings of it there just hold them until the the padding is set back into the helmet and you sit the helmet you sit the padding back in as well as far as you can maybe use your knuckles just to push it back into place make sure it's sitting around nicely inside in the helmet as you can see there it sits back in nicely and it just sits in against the the velcros okay so that sits nice and tidily in there we turn the helmet around so you can get a better view of it going through the slots then for the forehead piece. So again with the forehead piece you're trying to get your slots through the front the front of the helmet here. Okay so again we're making the the, the, the Coolmax padding it's facing up towards you okay on the inside so that should be facing down the Coolmax uh, wording should be facing down towards the table and the blank part is facing up towards you get my words muddled there a small bit so again we put the center piece through first I hope you can see that in the camera 
we'll just pull that through there and same with this one and the last one pull it through the slot and so what we're doing then is we just double the padding back into the helmet back in like so and we're sitting it in nicely in around the side so it sits in like a jigsaw with the forehead piece on both sides I might be gone a small bit out of shot there but uh, I'm hoping that you're getting the gist of this fully it gives you an idea of how it sits in so that's it really that's it on the on the senior helmet and, I, and as I said before it's the same for the junior helmet the regular padding and the Coolmax padding if you choose to use either it's the exact same process of putting the padding in and your helmet is uh, nicely refreshed again once you have the the new padding in in it and uh, it's ready to go and maybe over over the next few weeks or months if we have to put anything else um, on the helmet whether it's chin pieces or putting on straps or even the screw adjusters if people need to know about that uh, we might do that over time as well but uh, the most the most uh, requested one is changing the padding so that's it thanks very much